Hey all, Steve from Guitar Niche here. I'm going to share with you a little tip or trick, hack if you would, where I'm going to try to do something a little unorthodox here. Okay. I've seen this before where sometimes the pads and the and the uh, um, the pressure pads and the uh, uh, the, the um, saddles the the faces get worn they don't grip onto the finer strings so well wound strings are not usually not a problem although we can have some issues with um, um, you know the strings popping out or whatever but I'm going to share with share with you a little trick that um, uh, I, I came up with. I'm sure it's, it's nothing new, but maybe I can get this to... Nope, not quite. I don't want to force it, so I'm going to... I'm trying to induce an effect here. Maybe you have an instrument where this, the, the pitch on, on your locking um, bridge or you're a string on your guitar with a locking system is continually dropping. Now in a previous video we looked at the ping test which is above the nut and it, it illustrates how to check if the nut is properly secured or not or if that's an issue. It could be the nut itself, the seating, or it could be the pressure pad is not gripping the, uh, the string properly. Those are, are addressed in different uh, uh, videos. But let's say the string is dropping, the pitch is dropping, all these and others can be fine. And the saddle is not, like, it's secure. It's not wandering. You can look at the, the staggered intonation system and go like, that looks right. It hasn't moved. Sometimes these move. Sometimes they, you know, through uh, temperature changes and wear and tear, they loosen up and the, the, the actual saddles can creep up and stuff like that. And this ladder pattern that you'll see in proper intonation, that's a dead giveaway that if, if that is consistent day after day, week after week, month after month, et cetera, and then it looks out of, out of place, that's an indicator as to where a problem may, may, uh, may exist. But in this sense, in this case, I'm intentionally showing you how a string can pop out of a worn uh, pressure pad saddle situation. So you see how, I hope you can see this. So there's a little curl on the end there, and that's normal. I mean, I mean, it is what it is, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'll show you a trick. <laughs> Sorry, it's taking a moment to get to the point here. But I'll show you a trick to get around uh, a worn clamping situation as such okay so anyway I just cut the the string back so it's like somewhat normal on the end I'm just gonna take that last eighth inch or so and just using a, a pair of needle nose here or whatever whatever tool you have handy I'm just gonna double that over Sometimes it can be a bit of a problem to get these things to coordinate. There we go. So, uh, what I did was I took that eighth inch and I bent it back. What I've done is effectively doubled the surface area of that string. So, or the end of the string. So what I'm going to do, I'll pop that back in. And 99 times out of 100 or better, you can bet that that extra meat on the end of the string is going to save the day and you will have no issue with that thing popping out again. Now I know this, this is a good system, I mean it's clamped properly and whatnot, but uh, you know, I know that that is good to go. I know it's good to go. It's a little just stretching the string. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you have an old older system with worn parts like that, there's ways around it to uh, 
get these things to 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 function that's a workaround for uh for a slipping string just bend the string over about an eighth of an inch or so double it up double the surface area put it back in clamp it down good to go anyway hope you enjoyed that uh thanks again like and subscribe have a great day see ya